If you're a fan of validating in a controller with Laravel 5.5, there's an easier way to get back the data you're validating. And this just further helps to clean up your controllers. So in this example, I have a very simple form where I can go ahead and update my name. And if we head over to the controller just here, very, very simply, we're calling this validate passing through our request object. So uh, Laravel's validator can extract that data and use it to validate the name alongside the set of rules that we've required. Now, this is where things uh, tend to start getting a little bit more messy. You've already defined out what you want to validate. So it's entirely likely that this is the data that you want to update with. So in this case, we are using the request, grabbing the user, but you could just as easily uh, use something like auth user like this if you wanted to. Either way, what we're doing is we are then again uh, going ahead and grabbing the request data that we want to update. Now, in this case, what's happening here is we can assign uh, something like data to this here, and we'll take a look into this validation or validate method in a minute. But now we, we can just pass this like so. So massively clean things up. This is going to work in exactly the same way. Let's just go ahead and switch this over and prove that that works. So that is a nicely cleaned up controller if you like using uh, validation inside of your controller. So finally, if we just head over to our controller, we can open up the validate requests trait and we can come down to this validate method. Uh, what's happening here then is we're using request only to grab the keys from the rules that we've defined. So of course, that means this just here, we're grabbing and we're passing back that data using request only. So we're plucking that data out. Now, because of this, this means that uh, you're not gonna see all of your data in there that you uh, are sending through. So for example, if we just do a die dump on data just here, and I was to update the account index here to include an email address. So let's just very quickly switch this over to our email and we'll change all of these over as well. There we go. So I wanna send across an email address as well. So if I just go ahead and update this, we only still see a name. So we don't see that email address because we haven't defined it out inside of here. Now, if for any reason you did want to still use this to re-update or create something, in this case, if we don't receive it in, there's no need to update it. But in this case, you would just use email with an empty uh, you know, rule like this. So just no rule at all. What that means is that when you go ahead and do hit that, you're still getting that value in here because it's plucking it out for the request. And then you can go ahead and do whatever you want. In this case, you wouldn't need to do that, of course, because nothing has changed about the email address. You're not validating it, so you don't need to update it. But you may still have a use case for no validation rules required, but you still want to go ahead and extract that. So that is pretty much it. A nice way to clean up our controllers using the data that we get back when we validate.